Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. We're going to go over the way I found fastest to get battle points. It's super simple. We're going to hop right into it. No introduction needed. You've already introduced whatever. So here's are the two most important things you want right here. Tech speed. You want to be on fast. And the most important one, you want battle effects off. This is going to save you loads and loads of time. The next crucial step is you want to borrow this guy's rain team. The guy in the green jacket, borrow the rain team. It's the best. Trust me. You'll see here that I'm right because in just less than an hour of me going for this, I've already collected, collected 81 battle points. It's very easy, very quick, more efficient, very efficient. You should do it. The final step is the most important. Obviously, you need to go to the battle tower. As you can see right here, I am in the eight great ball tier. I have 20 victories. What I always do is I always save here first because very rarely, and as a matter of fact, for me, it's only happened, it's happened twice so far in 20 victories. I have had two losses. Sometimes it just happens. I suck for losing. You should really shouldn't lose this at all. You guys probably don't suck like I do. But I always save there just in case because if you lose, you go down a tier. And so you just want to close your app to not do that. But right here, here's uh, party one. Don't want that. Where's my rental team? Rain team right there. You want to bop this. And we always, no matter what, start it off with Pelipper. Number two. I always go with Barrascuta. And number three, I've been rocking Ferrothorn. I don't know necessarily what's the best third option. Usually, though, you don't really need to go past Barrascuta. <coughs> Usually, he, he wipes for you pretty well. So, sorry about hearing that beep in the background. I'm going to, I forgot to mute my phone. I'm a, I'm a rookie. But let's go ahead, let's hop into this real quick, shall we? The Pelipper on this team is rocking Drizzle and Focus Sash and Tailwind. So no matter what, first turn, always pull off the Tailwind just so you can guarantee that you go first every time. And as you can see right here, I, like I said, I have battle effects off. It makes this go way faster. See how fast that first round went? Another thing to know is most trainers, the, as a matter of fact, none of them besides Leon so far for me have ever Dyna or Gi Gigantamaxed. So you're good to go. If you are in a pinch and you need to die or Gigantamax to Dynamax, you can. And that's why you should really never lose because your opponents never do. So the fact that I've lost without my opponents ever even Gigantamaxing is very embarrassing. Don't let that happen to you, okay? And if that does happen to you, don't do what I did and admit to it. But look, I just had this quick little conversation with you. And we've already went right through the first train of that easily. I mean, it's foolproof. It's foolproof. After your battles, it's always going to give you the option to keep battling or no thanks. Always click keep battling. You want to go through this chain. Uh, I believe the chains are always three trainers. And as soon as you beat all three trainers, then you will go up to the next tier. And when you go up to the next tier, that is when you will get additional battle points. So every time I beat one of these trainers or you, you get two battle points every time. But after you beat three trainers... That's when you'll start to get extra item, like bonus items, plus bonus battle points. So, for instance, when I was in the Pokeball lead, our league, I was getting five extra battle points for every three trainers I beat. So, you get your six for beating the three, plus an additional five. That is 11 battle points you're getting right there. Now that I'm in the Great Ball League, I've been getting an additional 10. So, I get 16 battle points for just beating up three people who had it coming for them. You know, and so far as you can tell, look at this. Like my Pelipper hasn't even right here is he gonna go down? No, he's gonna this guy's gonna protect just to slow us down. Get rid of our rain. What a weenie. We don't care about you, okay? And as a matter of fact, in situations like not no, I'm definitely not in any dire need. But in a situation like I said earlier, if you're about to lose, just dyna dynamax and finish him off. But there you go. Already two in a row. That quick. We're not playing around. All right, here we go. So this is why I skipped the first one. Sorry about that. So earn two battle points. And then would you like to continue battling? Always click keep battling. Just fight through it, man. Just fight through it. All right, so we are now officially on the third fight. Once again, we're going to keep going. And so far, so I know that you guys have experienced some cuts here and there. But since the beginning of this video, me not obviously able to cut real time, I've only been doing this for seven minutes. So we'll just say eight to ten minutes. So in, we'll say ten minutes. Every 10 minutes, you're getting 16 battle points. So if you times that by 6, you're getting over 60. Uh, 6 times 636. So you're getting 96 battle points. Is my math right there? I have no idea. I think it is, though. 96 battle points every hour if you do this efficiently. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. 
I mean, are you going to be able to beat that any other way? And look at it. Like, I'm literally just having a conversation with you guys, just swiftly beating these guys. If you're, I would say if your moves are both effective, go for the skull just because you have drizzle up and you have the chance of burning them when you do so. So right here, he paralyzed me. What a jerk. He's going to go first, which just slows things down. Like, you're inevitably going to get beat, kid. All right. But let's go ahead. Let's finish this off real quick. Can the Skull finish it? It is going to finish it for me. Now, let's see what happens. So I've beat the three trainers, and here's what you get to do. Let's go ahead and get past this guy. And now you've earned two battle points. Oh, would I like to keep battling? Four. I was wrong. It looks like it's four. Can you guys imagine being as dumb as me and thinking it's three and it's really four? Maybe it was three for Pokeball League, and now it's four. Since I'm in Grayball, I have no idea, honestly. I'm really embarrassed by that a little bit, but whatever. So, we're just going to go with the El Classico. Always rock the Tailwind first, because you have Focus Sash. And just skull your way to victory. Wow, he has Eject Button. What a nerd. Wow, an RK9 and Tyranitar. This person... Oh, dude. Switching my Drizzle out for a Sandstream? That's straight up a jerk move. And honestly, for this... I'm going to die Nanamax. I don't want your Sandstorm up. I want my Drizzle back. Okay, and I'm pretty sure Dynam Dynanamax is going to give me Drizzle back. So unfortunately, it doesn't actually cut out the Dynanamax animation. I just cut it for you in the video. No one wants to see that. And here we go. We're just going to do some quick damage. And there we go. Brought my Drizzle back. Now I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of this trainer so you guys don't have to waste any more time. Wow, dude, that was super annoying that I got really quiet because that shit ninja had Wonder Guard. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to freaking beat you. I don't have any super effective moves. But there we go. Beat four in a row. And there we go. Now, now I was right. So it is four. You've moved up now to rank nine. And here's my rewards on top of my eight battle points I already received. Three rare candies. A sprig of bold mint, which the mint, I believe, is the EV training. And then 10 additional battle points. So 18 battle points real time for me was 12 minutes and 45 seconds from the beginning of this video. Not cutting anything out for you guys. So every 12 minutes, I'm getting 18 battle points. I mean, that's, that's you know, that's qu as quick as uh, I found so far. And I'm at 99 battle points. Just started doing this today. So I definitely recommend you guys do that if you guys find this useful at all please like and subscribe and uh, if you have any better ways or any other tips and tricks leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see what we can come up with next thank you guys for stopping by